Hello! My name is Sleepy, and this is Imperium Galactic Survival 6.07 Experimental. Since I did the video on the rescue bee, I know it was dark, people had a hard time seeing and telling exactly how we built the CV. So I went into creative here, and I'm going to actually recreate that CV so it's easy to see and easy for you to understand how to build it. Yes, you notice we're in my junkyard where I've got all kinds of stuff happening. This is the place I play at in here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the items we need. On the rescue CV I start out with 40 steel blocks. You don't need this many. I think it's 35, 36, 37, something like that. But 40 is always nice to have a few extra. All right. You're also going to need a capital vessel starter. Boom. You're going to need to go in here and you're going to need to get uh, an RCS for a CV. Just one of those. Just a fuel tank for a CV. That's SVHV. There's a T2 CV fuel tank. You're going to need a generator. And just use a small CV. It, the small generator, it may uh, pull more power than it creates, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter for rescue. It's not something you're going to be using all the time. You're going to need warp stuff. One warp drive. Uh, one of these. Let me see. What am I forgetting? We're going to need thrusters. I think we're using 13 thrusters. Those are HP. There we go. 13 thrusters. And we'll need Pintex and Fuel. I did start off with 100 Pintex just because that's what the stack is. The Fuel is 85 is what I used and they were the small Promethium. So we'll go ahead and use 85 of these. Doesn't quite fill the tank up. But it's enough to get you home normally. You won't use this much. Now, if you're using the, the larger Promethium or the fusion packs, you know, you can carry less. That's totally up to you. But if I remember correctly, this is everything. And what we're going to do is just we're going to rebuild it here in the light where people can see. And we can talk about why we did what we did. First thing you always start off with, of course, is your little CV starter block to give you a little room. Go ahead and just drop your CB starter block here. Doesn't matter. Next thing you want to do is go to your steel blocks. You're going to put one steel block up in front in the nose, and that's where it'll be. your cockpit's going to get moved up to. And then you want to put three steel blocks in a row back here. Alright, this is going to give you room to uh, land your B and be able to put your stuff in. Then you want to make a row of five, just one extra, going out. And make this row five. This is going to be. This should be the perfect size to hold your warp drive. I do put one down the middle, which is unnecessary except for the fact that the warp drive wants to be a pain in the rear. And you notice that we still have blocks left, but we haven't built our cockpit yet. And we'll go ahead and build our cockpit now for the fun of it, just so we know. Make sure this is on disassemble when you take the cockpit off, so you get it back a full cockpit because you've got your core it'll come back as a full cockpit then you put it up front now in the cockpit you just have to make sure there's blocks on all sides you don't have to get really fancy with this so it makes it airtight I'll put one on the top now the biggest most important thing is oh do we get a door out I forget I always forget the door the door is extremely important because it won't work without it. Because you can't get in and it's got to be an airtight door. So let's make sure we grab the door. What you want to do is go up here. Now if you look over here it says airtight under automatic Torvert 2 airtight false. Do not use anything that says airtight false. Always use the airtight true. This means they're airtight. And just stick the door in here. Now you've got your cockpit built. That'll be airtight and that'll keep you away from the cold. Next thing you probably want to do is put down your warp core. 
You want it to take all the spaces, and it'll should fit on that perfectly all the way around. As you see, it does. Then you want to go to your thrusters. Now you will need. You know, I tried two first, and it didn't get up enough speed to go warp. I didn't try three. I just went straight to four because there really wasn't a good place to put three. And then right in the middle of it here, I put the down. There's just one single down thruster because gravity normally will work in your favor there. Roll these over. These will be your lifters. Your liftoff thrusters. I put four liftoff thrusters to make sure whatever gravity we're in that we can take off. Because planets have different gravity. And you'll notice that that could be a problem on some ships. So I did put the four liftoff thrusters. From what I've seen, that'll lift off on any planet. Uh, you'll need a reverse thrusters. I don't know that you need two. I put two because there was just such a good place for two of them. Then you'll need some maneuvering for left and right. And one thruster is enough to move left and right. This isn't a battle CV or any kind of CV you're going to use for anything except to rescue yourself. I wouldn't advise using this build for anything else. Uh, now you see we have thrusters in every direction. We can lift up, we can go down, we can go left, we can go right, we can go forward, and we can go backwards. Next thing you're going to need to do is put your hardware in. There's really not a whole lot of hardware to this build. You need a place to put your warp field. Oh, I like that the other way. You're going to need a place to put your regular fuel. And you're going to need a power generator. I normally just stand this up on end. I try to get the thick side to the bottom. And then as we forgot in the video, as you saw, I had to put it in space. I normally just put the uh, RCS on top. Now we stuck it over here on the edge in space because we didn't want to freeze to death. And that basically is your CV. Now we carry the other items. Carry the fuel. Fill her up. Then we carry the Pentax. To fill up the warp. And that basically is the CV we flew home with. We use this area right here to park the Bumblebee on to take it back with us. I mean, not the Bumblebee, the uh, Sunbee. I'm still not used to having a uh, Sunbee. I just built this, so... It's time to take the place of the Bumblebee. And so far I've been real happy with her for what she is and what she does. Then you can just park the Bumble, the Sunbee up on her right there and you're ready to go. So, like I said, she's not... Uh, she's nothing but a simple take you home when you're stranded. That's when you're using the Sun V as a rescue vehicle. If you park it in your CV and keep it back behind if you ever have issues and stuff and something happens to your CV and you can't get home, as long as you can get to a place where you can safely build this, this will get you home and you're carrying enough Pentax. The Pentax variety varies depending on where you are, how far you are, where your home is. But this is one of the simplest actually flying CVs I know that you can build. It's nothing pretty. It's not designed to be. It's designed strictly to be something to take you home. But I did want to do this little short video. I don't know if I have any fuel for this. We'll go ahead and park her on. I know it had to be a little difficult for people to see on Masperian. Heck, I could barely see what I was doing. Put some fuel in you. And what I did is I just fly her right onto the side here. And I just park her right in here. Like I said, you could make that a little smaller. We probably don't, but I just like to have a little bit of leeway room there. And if you're using this like on a planet without oxygen, I'd advise you to go ahead, because you're not going to have oxygen on the ship. That's why you want to keep the bee with you. Because it should be filled with oxygen, and it's got six tanks, you can go ahead and fill up your oxygen tank. This is what you use to keep yourself alive with oxygen-wise, depending on where you are. And you're ready to go. And that is the Rescue Bee CV. It's not complicated. Uh, it's not that much materials. There is a constructor on the Rescue Bee. You can make some of this. But I just thought it would be easier just to already have the materials with you. So we can just go ahead and build it and show you how it works and how it can be used as a rescue vehicle to rescue yourself. Especially in single player mode. I don't know how many of you have been on single player mode and something happened to your CV on a planet and been really in dire straits because that can really cause dire straits. But this is the 
Sunbee, and this is the Rescue CV. Thank you much, y'all have a great day. Peace, my name is Sleepy, and this is Imperium Galactic Survival. Later, folks, I'm out of here.